many quantities in physics and engineering are related by a linear relationship. You can think, for instance, of Ohm's law, V equals I times R, where the potential V and the current I depend linearly on each other. Or you can think of Hooke's law, F equals minus K times X, which relates the restoring force F of a spring and the stretching X. And there are many more examples. So a good reason to study linear equations. In this video, we will learn what we precisely mean with a linear equation and a linear system, and what a solution means. So let us have a look. So question is, what is a linear equation? A linear equation is an equation of the form c1 x1 up to cn xn equals b, where cn up to cn are constants given some numbers given in R, and where b, the right hand side, is also some given number. The x1, x2, x3, x4 up till xn are all also numbers, but they are unknown numbers. Those are numbers which we have to find. So, we have a few examples. We have four equations. Which equations are linear and which are not? So, let's take a look. x1 minus 3, x2 equals 5. Well, it's of the form c1, x1 plus c2, x2 equals b, where c1 equals 1 and c2 equals minus 3 and b equals 5. So, this is a linear equation. Then, x1 squared equals 4. Doesn't seem very complicated. However, x1 is squared, so it's not linear in x1, which means that this is not a linear equation. Let's look at the third one. x1 equals 3 minus 5 times x3. At first sight, it looks different from this. However, you can take the 5x3 to the other side. Then we get x1 plus 0 times x2 plus 5 times x3 equals 3, which is also of this form. So we have, again, a linear equation. The fourth one looks linear. The x1, x2 and x3 are linear in the equation, apparently. However, appearances can be deceptive. x1 and x2 are multiplied with each other. So it's not of the form c1, x1, because x1 is multiplied with x2, which is not a noun. So no, this is not a linear equation. So now that we know what a linear equation is, what is a linear system? A linear system is a number of linear equations with the same variables x1 up to xn, and we want to solve all those equations at the same time. So we want to find one set of numbers, x1 to xn, which satisfies all those linear equations at once. Well, it seems hard at first. Let's look at a small example. An example of two linear equations and two unknowns. x1 minus 2x2 equals minus 1, and minus x1 plus 3x2 equals 3. Is x1 equals 5, x2 equals 3 a solution? Well, let's take a look. 5 minus 6 equals minus 1. So this combination satisfies the first equation. However, minus 5 plus 9 equals uh, uh, is, is not equal to 3, which means that this does not satisfy the second equation. So it is not a solution of the linear system. Then let's try to satisfy the second equation, taking x1 equals 0 and x2 equals 1. So we satisfy the second equation. But then we get 0 minus 2 equals minus 1. We do not satisfy the first equation. So this is not a solution of the linear system. Can you see uh, two numbers, x1 and x2, which are a solution of the system? Take a look first. Well, maybe you can do some substitution or figure it out in some other way. But if you take x1 equals 3 and x2 equals 2, then we get 3 minus 4 equals minus 1, which is OK, and minus 3 plus 6 equals 3, which is OK. So the solution of this system would be x1 equals 3 and x2 equals 2. So now we know what linear equation is, what linear system is, what a solution is. Of course, you want to know now how to find it, 
but that will be subject of later videos.